Whoa, there's something about a good game of Serious Sam that makes me smile. Put FPS aside, put the age of the game aside, and consider this. I'm not only running Windows 10, I'm not only using a 1.2 GHz dual core processor, yet I'm in fact running an external NVIDIA card on a $10 HP Thin Client. Yeah, and I'm having a blast. This is HP's T520, flexible Thin Client that I bid on with the description that it turns on but has no operating system. Well, he looked lonely, so I dove all in with a $10.50 bid, and the rest is history. Stay right here. See how this baby was transformed. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. My only purchase was this mini SSD drive. I wanted to roll with the full version of Windows 10 and all of its unnecessary -isms. Why? Well, I really can't say, but it's an easy peasy upgrade anyway, so let's go. On the cooling, most thin clients have passive cooling and that reduces noise as well as the thought if there's no moving parts inside, the less likely they will need to be replaced. But I'm curious anyways, so I'm going to check and replace the thermal compound. Before it's put back together and tested, I just wanted to point out I'm only doing this out of curiosity and the fact I paid $40 for the Beast Mini PCIe external graphics dock a while back. I think it's neat for tinkering and experimenting, but it's sometimes a pain to get to work and gaming on it on it's not the greatest. With that said, I'll leave a link in the description on how to set it up if you yourself are interested. Oh, by the way, I know this question will come up. If the Beast goes in the Wi-Fi slot, how do I get it online? 
answer is either Ethernet cable or a USB Wi-Fi dongle. You should be ashamed of yourself. You skipped all the way here. Go back and watch the entire thing. Warning, blast doors closing. 